Hi, I am Sunny Joseph, a clinical psychologist based in Bangalore. Over the last few months, we have been going through some strange circumstances. And one of the biggest challenges that our children are forced to deal with is an unusual amount of screen time they are exposed to. So this video intends to focus on certain problems that could arise with increased amount of screen time, especially among children. Does screen time cause problems? Yes, it does. This talk is based on whatever I have learned as a clinical psychologist from those teenagers who have consulted me for certain emotional and behavioral problems, mostly because of their excessive use of screens. Now, I do have certain other insights based on psychological research that has taken place over the last few decades in this area. Therefore, make sure to watch this video. So what is screen time? It refers to the time we use electronic or digital devices such as a mobile phone, a tab, a computer or a television. In another video, I shall exclusively talk about certain changes that our brains undergo because of excessive use of screens. This video, as I mentioned earlier, is dedicated to those emotional or behavioral problems that we typically see among children and adolescents when they are exposed to increased amounts of screen time. I will also be talking about certain ways we can as parents prevent these problems. However, before I move on, let me remind you about something. If you look forward to videos on psychology or mental health, make sure to subscribe to this channel. No doubt, the digital world that our children enjoy today is an exceptional one. They learn and acquire knowledge through some exciting learning environment and experience these digital devices provide. It also introduces them with a wonderful world beyond borders. And you know how much we depend on these devices for our children's education today. We also depend on these devices for us to be in touch with people and to make our lives much easier and enjoyable. In fact, digitalization has turned this colossal world into a small family. Yes, we do have a really large number of advantages when we talk about this digital world. However, let me remind you that I'll be focusing only on the problems it causes, especially among children, with an excessive amount of screen time. It's contradictory that we are using the same digital platform to discuss the problems it causes. Psychological characteristics of our growing children coupled with the digital world that is so shimmering and magical create certain dangers. Therefore, the first thing that we need to do is to identify the kind of psychological makeup our children carry. As we have crossed their age and have seen them growing up so far, it is not very difficult if we observe to understand the way they think and the way they act. For example, as they are trying to create an identity on their own, they have a lot of questions in their minds. Who am I? Who should I become? What impression do I create among people? Who should be my friends? And it is as they are trying to find answers to these questions, a lot of information comes on to their fingertips through screen time. Secondly, this is the time they try to establish relationships on their own. So they reach out to people outside the family for friendship and other relationships. They come across a really large number of people on internet, especially through social media. And it is not necessary that we come to know who do they reach out to, who do they make friends with. Thirdly, 
they undergo a lot of emotional difficulties at a time they are forced to focus on multiple issues they need to study they need to establish some good relationships create an identity for themselves as well as develop some personal and problem solving skills they also face bullying accusations blaming and forced to take some instructions from parents teachers and other elders it's possible put all these things together they undergo tremendous pressure finally as you know children are very curious the more curious they are the more they seek information therefore nurturing this curiosity is of utmost importance in order to make them lifelong learners at the same time as they seek information and explore the world around them it is possible that they find a lot of unwanted information so we must pay attention to whatever they reach out to especially over internet and social media in this context according to the unicef one third of the world's internet users are children yes when they are not yet mature enough to differentiate between what is right and wrong so the question is what is so wrong with internet what could be some of the typical problems as i mentioned earlier there are a really large number of advantages that the internet carries however anyone can say write post or upload whatever they want online therefore our children can come across a lot of misinformation unwanted explanations distorted statistics and even unusual ideologies moreover there are people who fake their identities there are shallow relationships there are also adults who are waiting to victimize children and of course a high prevalence of online sex they do make internet an unsafe and a dangerous space scientific studies report that children when exposed to increased use of electronic and digital devices are more likely to develop psychological disorders and behavioral problems for example as the screen time increases they appear to develop an emotional insecurity depression anxiety as well as a negative attitude towards their own lives people and the world around they also appear to show certain strange lifestyle changes they suffer from lack of sleep physical activity as well as loss of appetite leading them to have attentional problems a lack of interest in studies behavioral problems and obesity finally studies very clearly show as the screen time increases there is a likelihood of getting addicted to internet video games and pornography so what can we do as parents i believe we can do a lot while accepting the fact that the growing children need their privacy as well as these gadgets throughout their lives it is our duty as parents to limit the negative impact of screen time so the first thing that we need to do is to establish good interpersonal relationships and a strong emotional bonding with our children therefore let's make sure we spend quality time at home every day especially with our children the next step is to set aside a specific time for our children to use those devices if at all required this means you communicate very clearly with your children at what time and for how long exactly they can use those devices it is important that you decide on this time especially after having an open discussion with them it's possible for us to be good role models for our children it is not what we tell them but what we do and show them what is important for example it will not be a good idea that we sit and enjoy with our mobile phones in the same room 
when they sit and study so let's make sure to train ourselves in managing our time and spending time wisely and the best way possible show your children how good it is to sit and read go out and play and make friends help them to identify certain hobbies and encourage them in certain things that they are interested in doing let children do not use a computer or a mobile phone locking themselves inside a room at home the computer needs to be kept in an open space like a hall if there is no way you can avoid keeping it inside a room make sure you have the option of entering that room at any time keep a track of the mobile phones and the computers your children use go through the chat messages browsing history as well as the internet usage ensure that the browser that you use for internet usage is a popular one and you are familiar with the settings and the parental control measures if necessary find out and install some programs or softwares that will help you monitor your child's internet usage kindly understand that you can control the content that is violence nudity and language on the mobile phones or computers that your children use with the help of necessary settings finally make sure you engage in open healthy discussions with your children on these electronic and digital devices let there be discussion on the use misuse and the dangers that are involved if required find out some books and other useful resources on the same topic as far as i understand the more you are able to keep your children away from these electronic and digital devices the better it is the more number of years they grow up without having a personal device on their own the better it is kindly keep in mind these devices are not meant to take care of their boredom there are better healthier ways to it is also not their right to use these devices be aware of your rights and responsibilities as a parent i wish you and your children best of the time together if you liked this video make sure to share this with everyone especially those parents who really need this thank you so much for your time thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you